In this clip, we're going to learn how to use our roto to mask our footage. Okay, so you can see that I've gone ahead and finished the roto here. Now, I've also drawn it up around this area instead of down because this is the area of the robot I want to show and this is the area I want to cut out, so I've left it outside. Now, if you didn't do that, there's some little inverting tricks you can do, but I just decided to do it this way. So, here's my rotoscope. I've got it opened over here and most of the time, if you were, you know, you're kind of starting to get the hang of this workflow, you would say, okay, well, our roto needs to go in between these right here because we want to mask out everything that's going on over here with the robot. And this is the result that we get when we do that. So we kind of, you know, we have masked out the part of the area, but it's not the area that we want. We're masking out the wrong thing. So let's go ahead and view here, and I'm gonna hit the A key to see the alpha so that we can begin to see the problem. So part of it is that, you know, we're, we've got the wrong thing showing. Right now, this is saying everything that's white is what I want to be able to see. So I can see, you know, all, that that's where that is but then I can still see the feet and that's kind of the opposite of what I want I want to see his body so an easy way that I can make this where this part out here is what I'm able to uh, kind of block out with my roto is by going over here make sure you have the bezier selected and go to shape and choose invert okay so now we're getting somewhere now I can still see his outline, which is what I want. I want him to still be, you know, cutting out over here, but I don't want to see anything on this part in terms of the white. I want it this to be black instead. So what I can do is click on this little area here, and in the alpha, instead of having that at white, I'll take it down to black. So now our alpha channel is only showing him and everything outside of it is black. Now, let's go ahead and jump back to RGBA view, or other RGB view. And here it doesn't look like, you know, anything's changed. But if we look at our merge, we can see his feet have gotten this kind of ghosty effect. And we know that that is a pre-multiplication error. So let's hit tab and add the pre-mult node. And we'll just drop it right there in between the roto and the merge. Now we're creating an alpha channel with our pre-mult and we are pre-multi or with our roto and then we're pre-multiplying that once we are doing our merge. So now it really does look like his feet are behind that area in the grass. Perfect. So now that he's integrated with our footage, if I start to move backwards, uh, we have a little bit of an issue here, and that's it, that the rotoscope isn't moving along with the footage at all. It just only has a key on that frame 306, and then we don't have any others. In fact, it doesn't even look like, oh, there we go. There's our key right there. If we're in the roto tab, we can see it. So looks like we need to start adding some keys. So let's jump into the next clip where I'll show you how to do that.